Do you feel like you're doing everything right but still can't shed that extra belly fat? In this video, I'm going to show you how cardio may be the reason for your plateau and what to do instead. My name is Jason Grubb. I'm a three times CrossFit Games champion who started as an overweight 38 year old with no athletic background. In my 20s and 30s, I wanted to avoid getting fat by doing lots of cardio. At one point, I was running up to 30 miles a week. The truth is, I couldn't outrun a bad diet full of pizza, beers, and the absolute best chip on the planet, the Doritos. I also stayed up too late, didn't allow my body to sleep well, I worked like crazy, I was super stressed, and my waistband was expanding consistently year after year after year. I did just work out vigorously for 30 minutes and I still need to hydrate. I'm gonna use Element, it's got 1,000 milligrams of sodium, 200 milligrams of potassium, 60 milligrams of magnesium. This is exactly what my body needs post-workout. To prevent cramping, rehydrate, get myself back up to speed. It's really nice to have this in a pouch. I can just bring it wherever I'm at, fill up my water and go for it. Right now, Element is offering my listeners a free sample pack with any order. That's eight single serving packets free with any Element order. This is a great way to try all eight flavors or share Element with a salty friend. Get yours at drinkelement.com forward slash Jason Grubb. This deal is only available through my link. You must go to D-R-I-N-K-L-M-N-T dot com forward slash Jason Grubb. Here are five better ways to shed fat than doing cardio. First, eat real food. Avoid processed food. If it comes in a box, if it comes frozen, let's just go ahead and avoid that and eat real food. Prepare your meals with whole foods that you can buy from the store. As a rule of thumb, you want to eat about your body weight in grams of protein, especially if you're doing any kind of training, which I'm going to talk about in the next section. Eat enough carbohydrates in the form of fruits and maybe some starchy vegetables like potatoes and healthy fats to support your lifestyle, but no more. And when you get all of your carbohydrates, from fruits and starchy vegetables like potatoes, you're gonna feel full and satiated and you're not even gonna have enough room to eat Doritos later in the day. And one of the things that really helped me shed a ton of fat was to get rid of grains altogether. No wheat, no oat-based products, no beer, nothing grain-based entered my diet for over 18 months. And here's a fun thing that I like to think about. If it tastes sweet, spit it out. Anything that's not a fruit that tastes sweet, we can let that go. Oh, real quick, I'm not a medical doctor. These things things worked for me, check with your doctor before implementing anything new in your life. Number two, train three to five days a week. Do short, fast workouts. Do medium length workouts that are like, do long workouts. Keep your body guessing at what you're gonna throw at it so that you're never bored and your body is in a constant state of surprise with every workout. And if you're just starting out, start with body weight workouts to lay a foundation of fitness and mobility. Then you'll be ready for minimal equipment workouts with like dumbbells or kettlebells. That's kind of an intro to allow your body to get used to moving external weights. Then you'll be ready for full CrossFit workouts. If you're watching this channel, watch me, you know that I am a strong believer in CrossFit and it is one of the best training modalities for overall health and fitness. Make it easy for yourself. Follow a program. Don't wake up every day and try to figure out what you should do for training. Just get a program. I have programs for beginners, intermediate, and elite athletes. Just click this link right here. And don't get injured. Taking a step forward and then three steps back because of injury just doesn't make sense. So pay attention to your body, listen to your body, and if you're doing all of these five things, you're probably going to be in a pretty good position to avoid injury. Number three, hydrate. Hydrating appropriately isn't just good for you, it burns calories. It was found in a recent study that drinking an extra 16 ounces of water a day results in an extra 23 calories getting burned. Multiply that by 365 days, which is 17,000 extra calories burned. That's over 4.4 pounds of fat burning because of an extra 16 ounces of water every day. For me, I always have a shaker bottle with me full of water. I drink one of these when I wake up in the morning with every meal, during training, one after training, and before bed and I found that I actually don't like the flavor of just water I need to have some fresh squeezed lemon in my water or apple cider vinegar and I'm good to go you could also try adding just some flavor packets to your water no big deal sugar-free flavor packets as long as you're getting that water down the hatch tip number four go the F to sleep you're cozy and warm in your bed my dear please go the f to sleep Men who sleep only five to six hours a night have the same testosterone levels as men 10 years older than them. You are literally a decade older in your body when you only sleep five to six hours a night. And when you're hungry or snacky in the afternoon or late at night, it's often because you're exhausted and your brain often confuses 
tiredness with a sense of hunger. And then you eat calories that you don't need to be eating, tacking on mass instead of shedding weight. Oh uh, yeah. And if you're training, you need good sleep as part of your recovery, especially as a master's athlete. And finally, number five, chill out. In other words, reduce stress. Every time you're stressed, your body releases adrenaline and cortisol. All of that is done to give you the energy you would need to escape from a dangerous predator or a dangerous animal or a risky situation. You might find that snacking or reaching for that second serving provides some temporary relief, but in reality, over the long term, that's tacking on extra fat. So how do we chill? Meditate, breathe, walk, and expose yourself to some cold temperatures. To meditate, you can sign up for meditation classes. You can meditate following some YouTube videos. I really like the Headspace app on my phone for meditation. From three minutes to five minutes, 10, 20 minutes, whatever time I have, I just do something really little. I also breathe. I use the Wim Hof method of breathing. Again, that is an app on my phone that's really easy to follow for one, two, three cycles. It takes five minutes to breathe, and afterwards I feel absolutely relaxed. Walking releases endorphins, which stimulate relaxation and improve your mood. And expose yourself to cold temperatures, whether you take a cold shower or an ice bath, like I do with the ice barrel. There's a commonly held belief that regular exposure to cold water, taking a cold shower, jumping into an ice bath like this ice barrel, those boost the immune system. And it's not that anxiety is caused by a lower immune system function per se, but it is linked to increased inflammation, which could lead to more frequent illnesses and overtiredness. And it's as simple as that, guys. Instead of trying to do more cardio to burn that extra fat, let's eat real food. Let's train three to five days a week, hydrate like a champ, go the F to sleep, and reduce stress. And if you need help on the nutrition or fitness side of things, don't hesitate to reach out. I'd love to work with you. And check out some of the other videos on this channel to help you along your journey. See you next time.